Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm going to be going through what kit I take on my explores. So guys, in front of me now, because I'm stood behind my camera, this is all the stuff that I would usually take with me. So, uh, this thing here, I put this on top of my camera so I can have my light and my mic mounted at the same time. I have a wipe, keep well, like to keep my lens clean. Obviously, I take my lens caps with me. I have a box with SD cards in. I take my mom frosted tripod, which I'm using to prop up my camera now. I take my road mic and dead cat so that, uh, to uh, reduce wind and improve my sound quality, but at the minute I'm not using that. I take a 130 LED light, which is really bright. I find that is usually enough light for most of my explores. But, uh, I take a head mount for my little action cam. It's not a proper GoPro, it's just like a cheap one from China. It cost me 30 quid. So I take that with me. I have a mount for that for it, to, for it to go on my bag as well, so I can have it mounted on my bag. I have two spare batteries for that as well. I have spare batteries for my camera. One legitimate Canon one that came with it, and I have two of these Top Man batteries which I bought off of Amazon, but they do the job. I take my pen and my notepad, which I write down all different places that I want to go to and places that I've visited. Now, I don't always take this, but I have this um, raw steel uh, like flask that I bought from TK Maxx, which is a shop in the UK. I also have this camera lens mug that Lily bought me for Christmas. I will leave a link to her channel below. And I also take a respirator with me in case we've got any buildings with like asbestos or anything in or mould or any other like harmful substances that could be in the air, dust, anything really. And these filters are asbestos rated and they also filter out uh, the smell as well. So like often if a building smells of crap, like we can't smell it or we definitely can't smell it as strong as without them on. So they do really come in handy. Uh, apart from that, guys, I take my bag. Again, I bought this bag off of Amazon. And it, it's unbranded. It says, um, Unto. Uh, I'm wrapping my Instagram on that as well, just there. And uh, well, we'll stick a high-vis with us as well. And to pack this, I have my light in there, my lens there, my camera. Um, in there I have like my thing for my batteries, my SD cards, the little tripod that I use on, oh yes that's the point, the little tripod that I use on my action cam which is from Jessup's and I have my mic and dead cat in there as well. I put my mask up there and I quite often carry food up there as well, I take like a tub of food with me like I did to the tea factory and everything else, like all the other little bits just go in there like my action cam, everything that all goes in there. To top it all off, my Sovereign State hat, which actually arrived in the post as of the day I'm filming this. So I was really happy to get this. It's really good quality. I'll leave a link to um, the website where I bought this from in the description, guys. And I find it's really good quality. It's a really nice fit. It, it's, it almost feels like a pair of jeans. It's like it's qu quite thick material, which I like. And but yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description below, guys. So, the last thing I want to show you is the camera that I am using now. So guys, as you can see, I'm in my bathroom and the camera that I use, if you can see it on the side... Let me switch into manual focus to get focus on that. Just here, I'm using the Canon EOS 700D. And again, I have my Instagram on the side. And there's my Manfrotto tripod as well. It's only a small one, but it does go up to... Uh, 1.4 meters tall, but it is only made for a compact camera, so I am careful with it, hence why I hold it both here and on my camera there when I'm recording, because it's not actually made for a camera of this weight, it's made for a compact camera. But uh, yeah, I mean, it does the job for me. It was £35, so I'll, I'll leave a link to everything in the description as well, guys. So yeah. So guys, I actually forgot to mention, I do also take a pair of cut resistant gloves and a nice thick coat, which is by Trespass, or if it's in the summer, 
I take my super dry. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram as I do polls, like asking you guys what places you want me to visit in my videos so I know what you guys want to see. So make sure to follow me on that too. There's a link in the description for that and on my end screen. So thank you all for watching guys and stay tuned for the next one. Peace.